hurt, and we have more tape on them. Don't forget, Kirby was the defensive genius. Yeah, he wasn't that day, though. <laughs> and then, hey, you know something, Motines? Good thing. I'm glad you brought up that the Allman backs are hurt. Okay, uh, if the starting back, number 21, Johnson, if he really that much hurt, right, his shoulders will be so much hurt. Why I seen him and the cameras was on him and they made a statement, well, if his arm hurt, it's not hurt now because he was in there giving some woman a hell of a hug. So tell me, is, is, is he that hurt or, you know, he just was in pain for the moment? You know, talk to me, Mochis. Keep coming at me. I got some shit for you every time you come. So I said, L, what's your record? Question mark, question mark. Wor worse than the Hawks. Okay, Greg will say, uh, Greg will make great radio. Greg will don't make shit. <laughs> Greg will don't make shit. What kind of radio you make, Greg? Only radio you make is the Troller. What you got on the Ninja show? On the Ninja um, show? Underground Railroad? Troller of the Year? You know, you won't get that here because you ain't trolling shit here. All right? Anything you bring, I'm going to cut down. Just like I cut you down Saturday in the chat that we had. Uh, Big L said, Knicks have more lottery picks than Chief Rocket have scratch off. Fact. See, first and foremost, L, see, that fact shit you always talking about, that fact shit is fiction due to the point that you don't know what the fuck I buy and you don't know what I have. So how you going to talk about lottery ticket when you don't know what the hell I buy? You know? So you scratch that shit off, all right? Since you want to scratch off some shit, scratch that off. All right? And then it's when you finish scratching, come scratch these. But anyway, uh, Greg will say, uh, <laughs> here's historical radio at its best. Still talking about irrelevant Super Bowl versus 2-8 and eight current reality. Oh, I said my team is suck. They 2-8 they, they and eight this year. I said that, Greg. So take the motherfucking sugar daddies and sugar babies out your ear, and then you can hear something, you know? Uh... It's fact and fiction that if teams look at them two Super Bowls where the Giants beat y'all up and go by that defensive game plan, y'all will not beat them in the Super Bowl. You know? Matter of fact, the Falcons almost, they should have had you. I ain't going to say the almost. They should have had you in the Super Bowl. That was the biggest collapse ever in sports. They should have had y'all asses. The year before that, uh, two years before that, Goddamn Pete Carroll gave y'all fucking Super Bowl. Gave you a Super Bowl. All you had to do was run Marshall Lynch. Y'all was doomed. So your last two Super Bowls, I wouldn't even brag on them bitches, was fucking flukes. Straight up flukes. So how you gonna sit in here and write type some shit like that? Huh? No, nah, man, go sit your ass down. And while you at it, you can join L in that corner looking at the wall with that cone hat on. Right? And then I'll send the little yellow bus to pick y'all up when the show was over. All right? Uh, Slugger said, laugh out loud, Big L. That's a lot of lottery picks. <laughs> then because Chief Damn Sure does have a truck full of scratch. Uh, here goes go Slugger. <laughs> here goes Slugger. Co-signing for L. Uh, Sha said, good old How can you keep up with all them teams you got? He, I, don't, I don't think he can really do that. Grego said, Chief telling as much truth as Kelly Ann Coward. I don't know who she is, so that's kind of fucked up for you to mention the girl's name. I don't even know who the fuck she is. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, but I, I'm, I'm speaking um, truth. Uh, here goes the mayor again. Motiz. Uh, that just proved that Nusi is undefeated even... <laughs> Even against injuries, huh? Okay, Mo Cheeks, I hear you, son. Uh, Gregor said, I told that old dog plenty of time how I became a Bama fan, but you can't teach an old dog. Oh, okay. You ain't say shit. Oh, no, no, I'm going to tell you his story. He said he met a girl. They went to the Bama game. They won the game, and he liked how they won the game, so he became a fan. That's as much bullshit than I ever seen in life. <laughs> That's more bullshit than bullshit. <laughs> all of a sudden, oh, all of a sudden, you go, and then this is this the thing I want to know. What year was it? Because, you know, Bama had some down years before Saban came there, you know. 
So I, I'm just I'm just curious. Well, you're young anyway, Gregor, so it could have been not too long ago. Tiffany uh, <laughs> Tiffany Sports in the Hill said, Chief about to go in on Big L. Laugh out loud. Big L ain't nobody really go in on Tiff. You know, Big L is just, uh, I handle Big L the same way every day. If it's verbal or if it's in tight, uh, it's the same thing that goes on in Big L. You know what I'm saying? Big L, I'm going to tell you about Big L. And this is for all the people in the background that can't see Big L. Ab, you know what I'm saying? Avi. Or, or or know who Big L is. Big L is one of those people that if you say Big L, uh, man, they down there swinging on the monkey bars, man, drinking some moonshine. Uh, you down for that? Yeah, Nostradamus predicted that that they was down there doing that. Yeah, okay, I'll be down there in a few minutes. You know, <laughs> boy, he one of them type people. If if you say something going on, they gonna pick it too, and then he gonna ride with it and act like he was the first one that picked it or said it. Man, go pick your nose, Al. Uh, Shaw said Grego got so many teams. If he took the test, the answer would be all above. <laughs> you right about that, Shaw. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, laugh out loud, Big L, Chief. Uh, L Scratch Chief Laugh um, Oh man <laughs> Tiffany said Big L Chief said he got an inch You can scratch <laughs> There you go Tip <laughs> Oh Angry Black Man said Chief said His team is playing spoilers And no one wants to see them They don't Now ain't nobody really want to see the Giants I'm going to tell you something, um, Angry Black Man. Only team don't mind if they lost to the Giants, but it may hurt them on home field, right, if they lose two more games, is the Eagles. You know? Y'all memory must be short. We was beating the Eagles, right? Let them come back because the defense just got sloppy, man. I don't know what it is without defense. Four of the games we lost, the defense at the end of the game gave it up and we lost. The San Diego game, the Philly game. Uh, let me see. It was two other games. I can't remember right off that. But those two I remember because I felt very hurt and violated behind them. Right? You got a rookie kicker kicking a 61-yard field goal under pressure. And it just barely made it in. It just squeezed in and just barely went over the crossbar. So, hey, what could you say? You know, they got the kick. They made it. Uh... Let me see. Uh, Mac Farrell said, there's no such thing as shitter in sports. Well, uh, well, well, I'll put it to you like this, Mac. They fucked up. The win was there. All right, how you like that? The win was there. Uh, Grego said, Marshall Lynch never had a chance to run. The you crazy out your ass, Grego. Big L said, New York Giants fan talking about luck. Question mark. Well, Big L, <clears throat> um, I don't call that completely luck. This man grabbed the ball out the air and pinned it against his helmet. The reason he died, I call that being smart. Because if he'd have brought the ball down, Rodney Har Harrison would have scripted it out of him. Because that's what he was going for. He was going for the script. But being that the ball never came down and he had it on his helmet when he hit the ground, the play was over. You know? So, that was one that the defensive player didn't look the ball through. He looked to script the ball out the man hand. And if you want to go back and look at it. Uh, Greg will talk about fake news. Uh, Greg will say, how you be, how you be an Ohio State fan from Alabama? Greg will go to hell. All right? Greg will, I was born in Alabama. I was three months. Three months. You ain't even, you still sucking formula at three months. All right, formula and titty at three months. So uh, I'm an Ohio State fan because I went to the goddamn school. All right, so how the fuck you a Bama fan, huh? If anybody should be one, I should be one because my mother was raised up on Alabama. She's an Alabama fan, and she'll tell you I never cheered for Bama. She always cheered for him, and I cheered against him. So don't sit there and try to tell me. 
uh, where I'm from, and I'll show how I'm going to be Ohio State. Man, go sit down. Go in that corner with L like I told you. Because the Chief Rock Ohio State fan story is worse than Grego. Uh, my, my story ain't no uh, worse than Grego shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I went there to run track. And I got a tryout for the team. Grego was in the motherfucking stand trying to chase them ass. All right? So how he became a fan? I'm not a fan. I'm an alumnus. You know? So you sent your... Well, matter of fact, Big Al, what motherfucking school did you go to? Tell me that. You always trying to down somebody about the schools they went to or what they did or what they didn't do or whatever. What motherfucking school you went to and you didn't play no ball? Your last ball probably was a freshman in high school because they didn't want your ass on the team. Now, laugh at that, L. <clears throat> um, big L should laugh out loud, Chief Rock. I did pick Auburn over Alabama first. For whatever. Whatever, Al. Whatever. I was on people's shows, which I heard somebody in the chat said, well, I don't know. You be on everybody's show and whatnot. But you know what? Me going on everybody's show, they like me coming on. You won't see a person that would say something wrong with me going on nobody's show and talk sports. You know? If you had a show, I wouldn't even come on your goddamn show. You know? They know who I'm talking about. I ain't got to mention their name. Uh, Greg will say, Chief will tell you, he ran cross country and came uh, across Ohio State campus in '76. Then helped birth that ninja on the on on the yard and knew he had to be an Ohio State fan. Yeah, I was that ninja. I hope that ninja listening so he can see your ridiculous ass chat. Uh, so, <clears throat> uh, so I said, Grego, I don't want what he's been drinking on. Uh, I ain't been drinking on shit. I don't drink. I work. I work today. I work this morning and I got to go back to work at 3.30. That's why I'm only on for two hours because, and that's why I don't have commercials. I never did anyway, but if I was to do commercial uh, on Doug uh, Network, uh, I wouldn't be able to do commercial because I'll be cutting into my two hours of a show. Alright? So, I don't drink during the day. <clears throat> uh, angry black man. Chief excuses are tools to build bridges that leads to nowhere. Those that are masters of excuses are masters of nothing. Your giants are who we are and they are. And who your team, angry black man? The 49ers? When is they ever going to build a team? They talking about, oh, they got a general manager and coach now. That's going to build a team. But shit, uh, you ain't really showing me that much this year, you know? Build on that, one win. Yeah, y'all beat us, one goddamn win. Uh, let me see. Mac Pharrell said, nothing wrong with tits and formula. <laughs> Thorny Swiss said, oh, suck. Very sound, <laughs> No, Thorny, you know that's how I be. Uh, you know, that's just my tone, you know. Uh, I would never let them get me to that point, Thorny. I just, you know, I talk loud, and I'm going to express myself. Uh, Rump Buff said, Big L went to BYU Backyard University, and that sounds just like where he went to, <laughs> with those suey pigs he live around. Uh, Sha said, he turned against the family, y'all. Uh, he's still on punishment. Uh, here you go. <laughs> uh Andre Elm said, did someone say tits formula? <laughs> Angry black man said, Chief, Big L went to Divide and was a four-year letter. <laughs> Hashtag fact. You right about that. He probably did go to Divide. And I've never seen him go to another school. Uh, Tiffany Sports and Hill said, Ruff, you know because that where you play ball in. <laughs> Damn. Damn, rough. <laughs> oh, shit. Y'all crazy. <laughs> Bama Boy said, <clears throat> uh, she said, how your team played Bama? Hey, you got a L besides it if you can't say shit. L. Who was you talking about? Oh, he said, L, your team played Bama. Oh, yeah, big L. Yeah, yeah. Tell him 334 Bama boy. Tell him again. He said, L, your team played Bama. 
and you got a L besides it, you can't say shit. That's why.